Hello and welcome to the channel. It's November, it's cold, and there's an easterly wind. So all in all, not good conditions for fishing. Certainly not here anyway. So both rods just out in the water. Very, very simple rigs today. Running ledger, three ounce weight, single hook, couple of beads, and a single rag one. Fishing for flounder. I'm fishing for flounder, quite nostalgic really. This is where I used to cycle in the summer holidays with my beat up old beat, uh, boat rod, with an old rusty squeaky old reel. Line that had more knots and gatherings in it than you could, you could ever imagine. And I used to catch fish. I couldn't cast it out, it would go 20 yards if I was lucky. But today I'm dip deliberately, today I'm deliberately only going 20 yards out. The flounder follow the, the tide in up the shoreline, feeding as they go. I've got the light tips on top of the rods. These rods are totally over overclass for this sort of venue. I should have bought estuary type rods with smaller series reels. But I'm using the braided reels because of the wind and I'm using these rods because of the very fine tips. I walk you up to the rods because, I don't know if you can see, I'm not putting a bend in the rod. I've deliberately taken it to tension and then released it. So it's literally set like that. Just off the limit of not having tension on it. Because with the running ledger, I don't want the flounder, when they take the worm, to feel anything. And the bites for these will be really, really light. So if I just show you quickly, Hopefully you can make that out. It's just quite not in tension. Just not quite. It's there or thereabouts. And the kind of bait you, bite you're gonna to expect to see is a, is a little rattle. And you may only get one of those, and you may not get any more. And the first you'll know you've actually got a flounder on is when you're brewing in to change your bait. So, Western Shore, Southampton. It's a bit urban, really. And that's saying it in the, in the kindest sense. So we've got a lot of housing behind us. We've got the car park off in the distance. Victoria Country Park is around that headland over there. Across the way is the oil refinery. Over that way. And then at Dockhead, just where I'm fingers pointing there, around Dockhead where the cruise ships come in, mainly carnival cruise ships, and then further up into Southampton Water is where the container port is. Happy days! I feel like a little kid out fishing. Got some happy memories there. Eh? Trying to use kit that wouldn't work, that wouldn't cast more knots than you could ever imagine. We'll see how we get on. I'd like to catch one flounder today. If I caught one flounder in these conditions, I'll be really pleased. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. The conditions are difficult. It's cold. It's, it's proper biting cold today. It's an easterly wind. It's quite an exposed little area of the shoreline. But it's nostalgic fishing for me and I've just caught one of the smallest flounder I've ever seen. A teeny tiny flounder. <laughs> and he's, he's weeny. I'm gonna get him back in the water. Now, he gave a pretty good bite, but he gave a good bite on that really fine tip rod. So I'm gonna get him back in, see if we can And away he goes.
how the fish can see anything when the water's that coloured. They must be scent hunting, they can't be sight hunting. It is literally like chocolate. But, happy days, target species, a flounder in Southampton. I know they're really hard to come by. Just checking my rod, the other rod looks like it had a bit of a go then. Um, I know they're hard to come by, there's not many of them about. I think the clam boats have dredged this place out and that just destroys the seabed and along with it the fish. But the fact that today with this wind, the biting cold, um, happy days, chuffed to bits. The tiniest, teeniest little flounder, but I got one. Better bait up, get it back out. I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you my rig because it is simplicity in itself. It is about the most basic rig you can physically have. I have a running ledger with a bead to protect the knot, a swivel. The fact that's an 80 pound swivel is pretty irrelevant. It is just a small swivel and a very short hook snood. So between the running ledger and the hook snood, 12, 13 inches. 14 inches maximum certainly not long in in the whole scheme of things and a whole train of brightly colored beads down to a wire fine point size one hook and that is it two pretty much ruined worms one missing a tail one with next to no life left in him at all I don't think the flounder are that fussy. If they come across it, they're going to take it. They're not going to turn their nose up at it. So I'm going to get this out. See if we can catch another one. That's made my day. The flounder from Southampton Water. Few and far between. I wasn't pinning my hopes on actually getting one today. I thought I'd just give it a go. Happy days. This will be me signing off, unless, unless something else happens. But last cast, 10, 15 minutes, and I'm gonna be packing up. So, thank you for joining me. I'm chuffed to bits. Little teeny tiny, little flounder, but a little flounder caught on Western Shore, Southampton Water. So, it's really good news for me. Local lad, my local horn, this is where I used to fish when I was a kid. Stuff. Fishing's fishing. Until next time, take care and I'll see you soon.